Welcome back to another reading vlog. It is Thursday, June 20th, I think. Uh, I got a package yesterday and I really want to unbox it because it's something very near and dear to my heart. And I don't know, I just, I like watching unboxings. So Bath and Body Works just had their semi-annual sale and uh, I can't not buy candles. I'm kind of nervous because this box is dented on the side. I don't know what's happening with all my packages, but they're just all coming in dented. But I mean, that's not that bad. But everything I have in here is glass. Like, are you okay? It's okay. Everything I have in here is glass. So I really don't want it to be broken. Okay. Okay. So, the first candle is Marshmallow Fireside. I bought this for the first time back in like, I think 2014. And it is still one of my very, very favorite smells. I'm so happy they had it. And I'm so happy that it was on sale. I got this candle for like $10.50. Right now, they're all like half off, so they're $12.50, but I mean, I, I jumped in right whenever the sale was going. So like, now there's only like eight or 10 candles even available, and this one is completely sold out. Oh, it smells so good. Like this, this smells like fall to me. And I mean, and I realize like, it's summertime, but it's never too early. The scent profile for this is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. Crystallized amber. Yeah, I am all about this candle. They also have like a lotion, body wash, body fragrance mist uh, combination that I want to try. And it's called like, like summer marshmallow or, or something like that. And if it smells like this, which the packaging even kind of looks like this. So if it smells like this, I really want to buy it. And it's all like $3.95 a piece right now. And I just haven't bought it because I'm afraid I'm going to get it and it won't smell like this. And I'll be disappointed because I'm not trying to be 27 smelling like a cupcake. That's not true. I don't know what I, I don't. On to the next candle, which is Lavender Woods. I, I'll show you Marshmallow Fireside. This is what it looks like, and it's like texturized, so you, I don't know, it, it kind of feels like, like a, an acrylic painting, almost. This smells so good. Um, oh. Lavender is one of my favorite smells, but I really like, like, lavender vanilla-y smells, and this is, like, what that reminds me of. Um... I specifically bought this one again, not only because I love the smell, but because I love the container. I repurpose Bath and Body Works candle jars. Uh, once it gets down to where the wicks are all burnt out, I like to pour boiling water inside of this and all the wax melts and then it rises to the top and then you just pop it out whenever the water cools and then take a little butter knife and scrape out the metal parts that held the wicks. and. Um, and then I just wash it and I hold pencils and pens with it, paper clips, just jewelry, whatever, because I don't like to throw things away. But whenever they have like pretty jars like this at Bath and Body Works, I try to buy them specifically to repurpose them so I'm not making as much trash. The scent profile for this, I keep saying scent profile, but it says fragrant notes, fragrance notes on the bottom. Anyway, it's pink lavender, wild sage, and cashmere musk. That's another thing about candles. If it says cashmere on it, I'll buy it. I don't care. I'll buy it because I know that I'll like it. If it says lavender, if it says cashmere, if it says vanilla, I will like it. Or coconut. I really like my coconut. My coconut. I really like coconut and then mahogany. Any of those things. I'll buy those things. Here's just a close-up of... Marshmallow Fireside. It's just a pretty starry sky. I definitely like the design 
on this marshmallow fire side more than the other one. The other one was just like typical fall campfire roasting marshmallows, what have you, which is fine, but this one is just better in every way. And the last three wick candle that I bought is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. And it just has a beautiful flourishing mountain for the design. I've never smelled this candle. I've never smelled this candle, but like I just said, there are certain things, there are certain descriptions. I will just buy things if it sounds like I might like it. And even if I regret it later, I'll use it. I don't regret this. This smells very coke. It's very tropical. It kind of smells like um, almost like a tanning lotion, maybe. It is very coconutty and maybe a little bit limey, even. It smells like it smells like something like an alcoholic beverage that I might consume. It smells really nice or like candy. The fragrance notes on this are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. I've never purchased this one before, but I will definitely do it again if they have it again next summer because this smells great. And then they were also running a sale on the single wick candles and I really like those for like bedrooms and bathrooms. Normally the three wick candles I will burn in like on like my kitchen island because it's for the living room and kitchen area. Okay, so this is the champagne toast and it is in the New York City jar and normally I wouldn't get something called like champagne toast because I, I like I tend to stay away from candles that sound like extremely girly and I don't know why I'm like that like it's almost like I'm like predispositioned to not like it if it sounds like I don't know and also if it's pink I don't know why I'm like this I I, I really I have no idea Maybe I just have negative associations with things like that, but I don't know. But anyway, uh, my best friend loves all things girly and pink and glittery and that's fine. I love her for it. But we would go into Bath and Body Works together all the time and smell the candles and spend way too much money. And Champagne Toast is one that I found on a specific candle trip with her. And so every time I smell this, I think of her. Oh, this champagne toast kind of smells like strawberry to me. If you told me this was a strawberry shortcake candle, I would believe you. A guy that my mom dated years and years ago, I remember he had this candle and it was like gel, like a gel candle and it was real gummy and I liked to put my finger in it whenever it wasn't lit. And it had like fake strawberries all throughout it and it was a, obviously a strawberry scented candle. And it smelled just like this, so it kind of reminds me of like being a little kid, like really good little kid memories. And my best friend. This is just a good smell for me. It's just a really good memory smell. So the fragrance notes are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine with essential oils. So, I mean, the berry definitely comes out in this a bunch, and I... I'm here for it. And then the last candle I got is the San Francisco. This one is Endless Weekend. And if I remember correctly, Endless Weekend is just very clean smelling. And that's why I liked it the first time I smelled it. But I don't think I smelled the candle of it. I'm pretty sure that I smelled the lotion. Well, hopefully I like this candle as much as I liked the lotion. We're about to find out. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is great. This kind of reminds me of another happy childhood memory. Um, this kind of smells like my friend Sarah's house when we were little kids. Sarah, I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, you should go buy this candle or the lotion. This is what your house smelled like to me whenever we were kids. It smells really good. It's just very clean. It's a very clean smell. And also, it's also very feminine. Like, it's not like just a normal, like the lemon candle smell. It's not like, or the uh, eucalyptus and rain candle, which is another one of my favorite for like clean scents. This one is definitely a more like what your girlfriend or wife will have in their shower kind of a clean scent. 
Okay, the fragrance notes are Summer Mandarin, Sunkissed Magnolia, Coconut Water with essential oils. So, yeah, that sounds right. That sounds... Oh, it smells so good. I'm just so pleased with all these scents. I think they all are perfect. And the two that I was, like, kind of curious about that I couldn't remember if I liked or not or, like, the Waikiki Beach Coconut, I didn't even know if I would like. I just know typically I like coconut-scented candles. Um... And I'm glad that I like this one. And also the Endless Weekend. I didn't know if I liked the candle. Sometimes you'll buy the candle and the body spray or the lotion and it just doesn't smell like each other. Like the, something gets lost in translation. And it, it's very possible that it's just different because like once you put like a lotion or a body spray like on your body like your natural scent mixes with it too. And so it's just not like the pure smell from the bottle that you smelled in the store. I don't know, but with a candle, you just get to smell the smell. And I'm glad that I like the smell. That was my little mini candle haul. Um, I just got home from work actually. Um, and so I am about to wash my face and get ready for bed. I'm already in my pajamas. And uh, I'm ready to just read my book, which I am starting Six of Crows. I'm very excited for it. I just finished Carval last week and I didn't film a reading vlog or anything while I was reading Carval. I think I might have mentioned it in my last reading vlog, but I'm not sure. But I loved that. A five star read at the at the least four and a half stars. I flew through that book in like a day. It was so great. It was, hi. It was an excellent story. And as soon as I can get over to Books Million, I am going to pick up Legendary. And then Finale is the last one. Needless to say, I'm excited about starting this book. I've already talked about how I really want to read this book. And it's just the next one on the list and I think after this I only have I, think I have six more books left to read from my June TBR and we still have like two more weeks left in the month at least at this moment I don't know when this video will be going up but at this time I still have like two more weeks of June left so I'm I mean it's just gonna I don't know like I think my book haul was like 10 books for June and I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should have bought a couple more because I've just like been blazing through them. We'll see what happens after this book because I think The Crooked Kingdom, yes, Crooked Kingdom is the second book and if I go through this one as fast as I went through Caraval, then I'll probably pick up that when I pick up Legendary and those will be on my July TBR. I also have some Rick Riordan books on my July TBR. My husband really likes those books and I own several of Rick Riordan's books. So instead of buying a whole bunch of new books, I'm just going to buy the sequels to the books that I'm loving this month and read some of the books that I already own that I have not read yet, Kitty. You're wild! Look at this baby. Oxy. Stop it. Look. Look, Nox. Look, Noxy. Oh, he's so cute. He's cute. Oh, it's vicious. It's vicious and mean. Ah, you got Aside from that, I, I really don't have anything else to talk about that, talk about this morning. I can't even speak correctly. I need to go to sleep. I've, I've taken a melatonin. I need to wash my face and go to sleep. With that being said, I will update you guys either later today or tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow might be a little bit more, I don't know, interesting maybe. We'll see. I'll definitely let you know how far I get in Six of Crows tomorrow. Okay. Bye.
Good morning. It is currently 4.43 a.m. and I'm so tired. I slept most of the day and most of the night and I am gonna have to go back to sleep very soon because I have to work tonight. But I can't sleep right now. So I figured it would be a good time to go ahead and do a little bit of filming and give you guys an update I am loving Six of Crows. I'm only like two or three chapters in. Uh, I've been reading it before I go to sleep and it's not really a book that you can read before you go to sleep because you don't want to put it down. And I have an issue with that anyway. So I think I'm gonna have to find something else to read in the meantime. I didn't do any filming yesterday and I mean, it was a pretty uneventful day and I didn't really read at all yesterday. I had to go to the doctor and get blood drawn and then our internet was out. And so I just watched six, the first six Harry Potter movies and The Fellowship of the Ring yesterday and Fantastic Beasts. I just watched all the movies yesterday and didn't bother to pick up a book except for while I was in the waiting room. I did work on um, A Woman in the Window. No, that's not how you say it. The Woman in the Window and I really enjoyed that book. Other than that, I've just been kind of reading A Court of Thorns and Roses still. I am almost done with that book and I probably would be done with that book if I wouldn't have gone ahead and picked up several other books after I started that one that's on me, it's okay. Oh, I need to get it together. I think I'm gonna make myself some coffee and some breakfast and then sit down and read Six of Crows for a little bit. Maybe watch another Harry Potter film. I'll probably do that. I'll probably watch more Harry Potter after I read for a little bit. And really that's probably all this day is gonna consist of. It's. I'm gonna be sleeping for most of it, so. another vlog update. I just crawled out of bed a little bit ago. I am about to start getting ready for work, but I wanted to go ahead and close out the vlog 
and do a quick update. I am still reading Six of Crows. I'm still loving Six of Crows, but today I just got in the mood to kind of like start a new book because I can't, I have no self-control. So I decided to go with The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This book is about a journalist who gets an assignment to go on this cruise ship and while she's on the cruise ship, a woman gets tossed overboard, but all of the crew is accounted for and all the passengers are accounted for. So they're trying to figure out what's going on. I love her writing. I've talked about it before. And so I'm really, I, I don't know. I'm just in the mood to start it and we'll see. I really don't have too much more to update you guys on. Nothing is really going to be happening for the rest of the week. And if something does happen, then I'll film it for my next vlog. But I'm probably just gonna go and start this book, finish Six of Crows, finish uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses, and let you guys know what's going on in the next one and see what I'm reading then. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.